I wanted to talk real quick on practicing the retention on the Serpa style holster like this right here. I don't like these holsters. I don't like the retention setup, but I know there's a lot of people that do. So I'm going to talk about it. So this retention right here is disengaged by pushing in right here. If you push in with your finger curled like so to disengage the retention and then unholster the gun, what's going to happen is your finger is going to have a higher probability of curling into the trigger guard area and possibly putting pressure on the trigger. So to help that, worry about doing this, keeping your finger straight and pressing with the pad of your finger versus the tip of your finger. This is going to help keep the trigger finger from engaging the trigger or going into the trigger guard because what's going to happen if you see it in relation to the handgun right here as I disengage and draw my finger is going to stay indexed along the frame it's not negating that possibility completely of uh, your finger sliding into the trigger guard but it's lowering it quite a bit versus getting in a habit of using the tip to disengage your retention uh, also look at the different types of guns uh, every handgun is different. This is an M&P. So this right here, there's no issues with the uh, using the trigger finger or the, the pad of the uh, trigger finger here to disengage. And I'm trying to back it out here while holding on to the camera. You can kind of see as I back it out, if I use the pad of the finger, it's going to index more along the frame versus if I use the tip, what's gonna happen is it can slide in because if I use the tip, it's going to engage right here at the bottom of the frame, then there's a good chance it's gonna slide in to the trigger guard and I don't want that. So try that. I know different models uh, have different quirks. The Glock should be about the same. I can't speak to y'all all the other guns with the Serpas because Serpa's not my thing. Um, I'll tell you right now, I have this holster right here for a reason. I kind of need to have it. Um, but I don't like these things. I really don't. I think there's plenty of other holsters that are better designed. But, again, I know these things are popular and a lot of people buy them. So, just really pay attention. Start slow with your repetitions. If you're going to use it, just pay attention to what you're doing to minimize your risk as much as possible. Alright, thanks a lot for watching. As always, stay safe.